Hi everyone, Ginny Lee here. It's no secret that there are tons of cool places to visit here in Austin. It's also no secret that Austin has a bad traffic problem. But there are several things going on behind the scenes that will help all of us get around easier, faster, and safer. The capital city's unofficial slogan is, Keep Austin Weird. Our cool vibe is one of many reasons people are moving here. With hot spots like Lady Bird Lake, Barton Springs, and eateries galore, there really is something for everyone. Including traffic. Yes, traffic. More people equals more cars. With about 110 folks moving to the Austin area every day, traffic congestion is a major problem. And it's getting worse. Those 110 people bring about 70 cars. That's 70 new cars coming to Austin every day, adding to our already packed roadways. Well, the cat's out of the bag, yeah. if you will. You know, that we're no longer a sleepy little town. We That's Rob Spiller. The He's the director of the Austin Transportation Department. Uh, uh, he makes a good point. Austin is so cool and so many people want to be here that we are the fastest growing region in the country. We're always making top 10 lists too. Austin consistently ranks in the top for best place to live, best place for job seekers, best place to raise families, and best place for dogs. You can't blame people for wanting to move here to Austin, but here's the problem. We're 20 years behind the transportation curve and we have a lot of work to do to catch up. So if we continue to do nothing, traffic congestion will only get worse. That's why Rob and the Austin Transportation Department are working nonstop coming up with new and different ways to make getting around this great city of ours a lot easier. How do we help people have choices about how to get to and from work? It's a huge goal and we can't just build more roads. In the downtown area, there is no more room. Yes, have patience. Understand that, that this is not an easy fix. If it were, we would have already, already done it. The city of Austin can't take on all this work alone. So it's teamed up with some big names that are spearheading long-term projects. The city's helping with resources and planning. Here's what's in the works. First up, the Texas Department of Transportation. It's in charge of making improvements to I-35. The stretch between Austin and San Antonio is one of the most congested corridors in Texas. It's also the biggest bottleneck on I-35 from Canada all the way to Mexico. 200,000 cars use the Austin portion of I-35 every day. That's why the city and the Texas Department of Transportation is working on innovative improvements to I-35. So we work daily with the city of Austin, talk to them daily, um, along with our discussions on 35. Uh, they also manage uh, all of the signals on the state system because of the size of Austin. So a uh, huge partner and something to where uh, just, just a good resource for us to use and they also bring a lot of ideas to the table. Over on Mopac, the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority has already started construction to add one new lane in each direction. From the Lake Austin Boulevard area to Palmer Lane, this new express lane is expected to give drivers another way to go when they're in a hurry. The toll will change depending on how many drivers are using the express lane. What the express lane really does is it gives the folks who need to get somewhere in a hurry a reliable option and it provides again public transit vehicles, um, registered van pools, uh, emergency vehicles, and military vehicles a uh, reliable route to use when um, they're trying to get somewhere in a timely manner. Now arriving at Kramer Station. Since 2010, Metro Rail has been getting folks like Beverly Silas to and from work in a timely manner. She's been using rail from the beginning. She's also on Capital Metro's board of directors. Why do I take the red line? because it's convenient. It's another day that I don't have to worry about the traffic. I can work uh, while I am going into town or coming from town. From 2010 to 2014, ridership on the red line has jumped 258%. The 15,000 plus trips a week means that people riding aren't driving and adding to traffic congestion. Capital Metro has also launched Metro Rapid. The buses run an express route from Tech Ridge to South Park Meadows and the Domain to the Westgate Center on South Lamont. Metro Rapid and Metro Rail are just two pieces of Project Connect, the area's vision for our transit system. Another high-speed transit project in the works is the Lone Star Rail District's Lone Star Rail Project. 
The plan is Lone Star Rail would run from Georgetown to San Antonio and includes an express service from downtown Austin to downtown San Antonio that takes just 75 minutes. Rail is expected to be so reliable that the on-time rate is almost 100%. Even if you don't plan on riding the train, you benefit because Lone Star Rail is expected to have at least 4,000 people riding it every day, twice a day. That translates into cars off the roadways like I-35. Joe Black is the rail director. We have to do everything. We're not at the point anymore where uh, we don't have the luxury, I guess, of simply making incremental improvements to our highway system. Uh, we're not at the luxury of making incremental improvements to transit. We have to do big things. Big things mean big plans, and that's where Project Connect comes in, the area's vision for our transit system. Transportation agencies in our area, including the Austin Transportation Department, form Project Connect. Metro Rapid, the Red Line, and Lone Star Rail are just a few projects included in Project Connect. Our partners are working together for one vision, to use high capacity transit to improve how we get around in Central Texas, especially important when Austin is home to so many big events. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 2014's South by Southwest Music Festival saw tens of thousands of people. It also saw the city's bike sharing program take off. B-Cycle was launched in late 2013 and has become so successful, there are plans to expand the 40-plus bike stations to 120. Executive Director Elliot McFadden says the program is a hit because it works. It's a fun, fast way to get around, but it's also contributing to removing cars from the road. So 26% of the trips made actually have removed vehicles from the road. Uh, based on what our users are telling us. So they're, they're hopping on this bike instead of taking a car. So what that means is uh, of the 78,000 trips we've made, you know, over 20,000 car trips have now been uh, removed from the road. That 78,000 trips, by the way, were made from December 2013 to June 2014. The Austin Transportation Department gets biking is popular and a convenient way to get around. So it plans to build additional bike infrastructure. For people who choose to walk, Austin Transportation has installed flashing red lights in between intersections for safer crossing. There are also talking signals at intersections for the visually impaired. Barton Springs Road. Walk sign is on to cross Barton Springs Road. Austin Transportation is incorporating all these innovations to make roadways safer for not only pedestrians and cyclists, but for drivers and transit users as well. It's all part of the city's bigger picture, to build centers where people live, work, and play, and connect these centers with several different ways of getting around, whether it's walking, biking, driving, riding the rail, or riding the bus. Even if you don't care about any of this, this work could still benefit you. If we invest in those infrastructure that allow people closer to where they're working to make those choices, uh, then they get out of your way on the road so that you don't have to deal with those folks. No matter how you like to get around this great town of ours, it's all about giving you choices so you can get there on time and safely. I'm Jenny Lee. Thanks for watching.